Good morning, everybody. It's me, the new guy. It's my turn to do the Instagram takeover today. So uh, you might be wondering, who the hell are you, new guy? And I guess this is the day where you're going to learn a little bit about me. I'm going to take you around, do a couple things today, uh, answer some questions at some point. Um, and yeah, so uh, it's going to be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, maybe it'll get a little bit personal. Maybe we'll, you know, kind of have a bit of an intimate connection develop um and uh uh it, it maybe we'll laugh a little bit cry a little bit um now it sounds like it's like therapy so that's cool for me and you know it doesn't matter if you get up at 6 a.m or 9 a.m you got to start your day off right and get some coffee you know a little black coffee so that you keep your intermittent fast going do a little bit of cardio with this in your system you know to stave off that dad bod so, uh, yeah, that's about good enough for me, right? Yeah. We're going to do some cardio today. Taking you on a hike. Going to need this. My bear mug. Oh, sweet, sweet rocket fuel. Okay, I moved inside because it was, like, too loud out there. I live in the city, so there's construction, and it just does not stop. Um, I'm also going to start to... I mean, like, that's how much coffee I've had already, so... Um, you're going to see a whole other version of me because I get crazy when I'm caffeinated. So um, I'm getting ready to go on, on out, take you guys out on a hike, uh, which I'm really, really excited about. But and then I just decided that I'm going to show you some toys. Okay, so uh, I don't know if you can see this that good, but this is just a box of some minis that I have. Um, I guess this is a good time for me to tell you. I, get, um, I haven't even, I don't know if I've mentioned Alexandria Unlimited yet, so um, I should talk a little bit about that. So, um, yeah, you know, Alexandria Unlimited, Calamity, that's what we're really here for. Um, I'm not to just endure my awkward, uh, not very savvy social media ness, but, um, you know, we're here to talk about this thing, and it's, I don't even know how to talk about it. I'm just going to let you stare at minis as I like, just show you some. That's one. This is just the pile that I, you know, kind of draw from on I run game with some friends. And this is our collective um, stash. Most of this stuff is actually just the groups and not, I mean, I own a couple of the minis that are in here, but they're in my possession because I'm running it. Oh, damn. I set up an encounter. Roll initiative. Oh, no, I, uh, I set up the squishy guy in the front. No, no, get back here, squishy. You, 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 you get up there. You should be right there. And then you're, you know, right, yeah, you're nearby. And squishies, you're medium squishy. You're probably there. Where are you? You're like a, well, you're like a ranger looking. That's leather armor. So you, I would never build a ranger I've never played a melee ranger. Every ranger that I've had is archer. So you go back. All right. Well, one one of these guys reminds me of my character in the Calamity. Um, actually, it's more like a combination of like two of the three of them. Um, but uh, so I guess this is a sort of sneak peek of the character. Ah, oh, it's two days away. I can't wait to share this thing with everybody. Hey, Mr. Frost Giant. Um, am I ever going to actually go on this hike? But I really should go, huh? I guess I should, you know, just get my butt moving, huh? Okay. On my way out to my car, I have to introduce you to the little kitties. So everybody likes to know, oh, look at this. These are stray cats. This is Circe right here. I'm being a terrible camera person right now because I'm looking for them here um, where I live, like in the alley. And their mom is somewhere around. But basically, there's like a whole giant colony of cats here. It was out of control. So um, we did this like catch and release thing. You can see that like uh, Circe, her ear, that right ear is like clipped. So there's a whole program that'll like catch, release them, um, and uh, uh, spay them, neuter them, and then you know because 
feral cats, they just take them back out into the world. But look, look at this, this little kitty. You come here, let me pet you. Come, come. Come, kitty. Come on. Oh, oh, look it. You know how hard it took to get this cat to let me do this? <laughs> this little stray kitty. So yeah, oh, well, yeah, that was too much. Yeah, everyone has limits. About to enter Griffith Park. <laughs> ah, last minute scream. Uh, uh, a car was coming. And I'm okay. I didn't get in an accident, but uh, uh, clearly. Uh, but that was really close. Um, wow. So uh, we are entering Griffith Park right now, and uh, I'm very carefully driving, very you know slowly, um, to uh, take you to one of my favorite uh, sort of secret hikes. I mean, I've been hiking and running through Griffith Park for a long time, so uh, maybe I should show you some of it. Griffith Park, la la la, this is not a good idea for me to do this while I drive, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so we are on an uh, official Griffith Park hike. I'm gonna run some of this. I'm not gonna videotape me running. Oh, I sh oh, there was a sign back here. Okay, I'm gonna run back to the sign. I wanna show you a little bit of this thing, the trail. How do I flip this? I don't know how to do this, so I'm going to do that. Hopefully you guys can see that. There you go. If this is going to be backwards, so you're not even going to be able to read that. Hold this up to a mirror, and then you'll be able to maybe read it. But we're going to do, I guess, the West Trail. Wow. Um, We're just going to do a trail that's not even on here. So, like, that's not even accurate to what we're going to do. Hey, I'm taking a, a little bit of a break, just so you can see how pretty this looks. Look at that. What a nice day. So, you know, that's uh, that right there. Can I zoom in? That's where we're going. That's where the rock throne is. We're getting really close, but I want to show you, look at uh, the Hollywood sign. And then if we turn, sorry if this makes you dizzy, there's the observatory you can see downtown. So this right here, this is a little trail off the fire road. That's gonna take us. Okay, everybody, um, here we are. We're at my little rock throne right there doesn't look like it's a throne oh yeah well watch me sit in it and then you will ah, ah oh yeah that's nice rock throne here I, I, I hope you're not too disappointed and you were expecting an actual you know rock throne look at that that's a seat that's a rock throne i don't know i see it but uh, here, here, here we are. Um, I, I, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself um, because I am going to do a little bit of an ask me anything if I figure that out. But I figured I could lead, cover some ground by telling you a little bit about me um, that you might be wondering about. Like, how did I end up on Critical Role? So um, uh, let me take you down the journey. Um, I've actually known Matt, Marisha, and Talison for many, many, many years. Um, I used to play in a home campaign with them before Critical Role. Uh, and it's through Talison, actually, that I got involved in any of the um, uh, streaming uh, uh, games. Uh, he is how I got onto Alley by Night through his recommendation. And cut to, now I'm here. Um, I've been playing D&D for a very long time and other games uh, as well. Um, I'm from Cartagena, Colombia. Um, my family's Mexican and Colombian. I came here when I was like three years old to the U.S. I grew up in Riverside. So like, now I'm gonna turn this over. In that direction, you can't quite see, but like, to like directly east from Los Angeles. So like, on a clearer day, if I were up on the like taller peak over there, um, uh, you'd be able to see uh, the San Bernardino Mountains, uh, Big Bear, and Riverside is basically in that direction. That's where I grew up. Okay, so, oh, uh, really important. So uh, today we're actually 
uh, today's one of the days that we're actually filming one of our Calamity episodes. So I'm here talking to you all, knowing that later today I'm going to be heading back into the Calamity, um, which I, I, I'm afraid to talk about because I, I know we're not supposed to give anything away, but um, uh, I, am, I am going to talk to you before. I can maybe sneak a moment during the break and then afterwards. Um, uh, but, you know, nothing can be uh, uh, streamed or, or captured in there while we're in the mix, of course. You know, I don't want to ruin the experience for anybody. Um, uh, so uh, that's happening today. Uh, <laughs> I just The thought of that, actually, I feel like a, a adrenaline in my body already. Um, yeah. Um, so, okay, so, so, so I've been wanting to actually say this. Um, one of the things that's like super cool, like I think, uh, I don't know, like, it just makes me feel so, like joy and, and, and all, all kinds of feelings is knowing that all of you, most of you at least, play your own games. And uh, I want to know about your campaigns too. Like I love that you're here and you're along for the ride for our, you know, Exandria Limited Calamity and, and that, that you follow Critical Role and that you, you, you many of you are, are, are so... Um, along for the ride with all the, the, the stories that are being told over here. And what I love is that not only are you watching other people's stories unfold, but you are participating in your own. And never stop. I don't think any of you would, no matter what anybody says. You know, like many of us are tabletop role-playing gamers. We've like endured plenty uh, 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 of, of ridicule in some cases and resistance in, in, in some cases. But we, you know, we, we found our passion and we, uh, uh, we, we do this thing because it's meaningful to us. And I, I love it. I love knowing that you're all storytellers. And I believe in that. I believe that there's something really special and unique about the kinds of stories that we tell with a group of friends. It's, it's personal, it's intimate, kind of like what I said this, <laughs> this Instagram takeover might be. And I guess here it is, getting a little personal. Um, it, the first time I played D&D &D in a really serious way was with friends in high school. And it's what hooked me. Um, it was powerful for us. It was bonding. And we were 16 years old and we were, we were participating in what, what I still believe was really compelling. Um, I think I'm going to go back down this mountain. Uh, and say uh, uh, goodbye to Griffith Park for that. <laughs> uh, running downhill is hard. Am I the only one that thinks that running downhill is actually harder than running uphill? I mean, uphill sucks, but downhill is like no control. I was first introduced to D&D &D when I was like five years old. Uh, cousins of mine that are much older, they were in high school or college, we'd stay the night over there and they would play and I would... I was fascinated because I loved dragons and swords and sorcery. And so that's when it, Matt Mercer wants to know this. Um, how do I do this luxurious beard? I don't know. Honestly, like, I think I shaved like last week. This just grows like that. Nine Maroki asks this. Um, my favorite class, really, is it bards. I love bards. Uh, College of Lore Bard is awesome. Uh, I've, I've played bards a bunch of times. Uh, the old colleges are really cool. Valor, Lore. This is from Mitchell Giff. Um, hmm. I think this would have to be Lou's character because I think our characters have probably done this a bunch. They have a, a history together. So, uh, yeah, I think it would probably be Lou's. Oh, hi, knitters and critters. Uh, please drink tequila. You don't need to know what's happening in Exandria Unlimited before watching Calamity. It's standalone because it's a thousand years in the past. So come join us. Ooh, this is by Drawn by Danny. This is so good. I mean, they're they're so different. They have very different motivations, very different blind spots. Like, oh, it would take me longer than this little timer lets me have to explain. Ooh, this is from Ramshay. Um, who's more chaotic? Oh, everybody. Everybody but me. Ezansky. Um, how much chaos am I planning on creating? Um, look, just like in life. I don't plan to create chaos. It just comes and finds me, no matter what. This whole slag, I hope I got your name kind of right. Um, where to the, yes, because I wanted to know. Um, I'm not gonna get the stuff that you sent to Critical Role. So you can find me um, at Luis Carrazzo on Instagram and I'll do my best to get through all of them. 
Lava Rose Insta. Uh, who's the dad or the mom? Uh, no one. Or is it me? I mean, maybe it's me. I hope it's not me. I think it's me. That man person. My character's beverage of choice. Probably sweat. His own. And his enemies that, like, spill onto his face. Only living boy in Chengdu. Oh, man. I don't know if I can answer this without giving anything away, but there's definitely themes. Um, some that, that happened organically. Some that I think were um, part of character history. It, well, a grime Denodrax. Um, oof, I know I butchered that. Um, who's my favorite aside from your... I'm not choosing because we're not done yet. And if I make a decision right now, that might make some of them mad and then they'll be that much more likely to betray me. Oliver Frasmussen. Mmm. Abria. All right, everybody. Uh, I got to a couple of the questions. Uh, can't get to everybody. I'm sorry. I'll see if I can get back to them later. Um, but I, I've got a couple things that I need to get to. I have an audition that I need to self-tape and uh, then get ready for um, our session tonight. Uh, but a little bit later, I'll have um, something else to throw at you. So uh, I'll be back. Hi everybody. Uh, this is Michael, my partner. How's it going? Um, he is. Uh, uh, he's a musician. Um, his, uh, uh, um, I guess, moniker or what your musician name is, is Baywood. You're Michael Baywood. Baywood. So, yeah. Baywood. Um, but I've, I've convinced him to give us a little bit of a of a concert. Um, one of one of my favorite songs of his. Um, he's agreed to play. So um, we're gonna do that uh, right now. And it's me saying you. This is your home. This is your home A call from the airport of souls stuck in transit In between lines of a story untold It starts at the ending and ends where you're starting Just water the seeds and the flowers will this is your home, this is your home, this is your home, and it's missing you. This is your home, this is your home, yeah, this is your home, this is your home, this is your home, and it's missing you. This is your home. And now, uh, now he's going to teach me um, how to harmonize with him. I'm not very good at this, but he's going to teach me how to harmony. For the chorus. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. All right, so the chorus is This is your home, this is your home, this is your home. So, what you would do, what would I do? Be, can you sing that? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I this, is your, this is your home. You do that? Yeah. This is your this home. home. This, this is your home. This is your home. It's the same thing. Yeah. And it's missing you. You do that? Yeah. Okay, ready? This, this is your home. This is your home. This is your home. And it's missing you. This is your home. This is your home. This is your home, this is your home, this is your home, and it's missing you. This is your home, this is your home. Yeah, that's it. Really? Yeah, you got it. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
was wild. So tune in on Thursday. Come take this ride with us. And uh, keep playing those games. Keep telling your stories. Now it's time to kick it off to Brennan. The end of my final transmission.